<laughs> Hi, I'm Hayden Bitter, executive chef. Hi, I'm Jake Gano, co-chef. And I'm Andrew Pugsley, the other co-chef. And we are... Three guys. One kitchen. And today, we're going to be showing you some of our favorite fall and or winter snacks. So here we have our 12 count mini croissants. Hayden, would you like to explain why you like croissants? Yeah, I like croissants because they're nice and buttery, but buttery is not a good condiment and it has, it has no liquid calories in it. So, think about it. It's a nice, you know, it's a cold winter day. And you're sitting in, like, you know, your house. You're all bundled up. You're sitting next to the fireplace. You're like, wow, it is really hot outside. What do you want more than anything in the world other than just a nice, warm, fluffy jacket? cross aid <laughs> Get it? Okay. So, okay. So when you're sitting next to your fireplace, you go to your local Aldi. You purchase your cross aids and you open them. Be like, wow, look at these nice, warm, buttery, even gotta, though it's- You gotta break the sticker. So mm. you try opening it, you can't get the sticker open. You tear the sticker open. No, you have to make sure to rip off the, the, the sticker that says croissant. You may need to use your braces to cut it open. What if you don't have braces? If you don't have so, braces, then you can't eat them. Here, you can come in closer. You can look at look at all of the- um Butter. Butter, the nice <clears throat> texture, flaky Fluffiness. texture. Mm. Uh, fluffiness. That what you want to grope it with your hand like this. You want to spin it around so it gets all nice and cool off. And then what you want to do is you want to fold it up like a pizza. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and then you want to take a bite of it. Mmm. <laughs> Sausage. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, those are your crossings. Great condiment for fall and winter. On to the next one. Thank you, Co-Chef Andrew, for getting those resins. So these, freshly picked from California, dried up in the Sahara Desert. We have California resins. So what you want to do is you want to look at the nutrition. Okay, so here's a, here's a life hack I'll teach you. While you're opening the plastic, you want to read the nutrition facts. So you get you, you use you use all the time you can while you're while you're opening up the package. Here you go, Coach Chef Andrew. Thank you. Here you go, Coach Chef Jake. Why, well, thank you. And then you Such since the bag you. since the bag is over it, you want to open up the bag a little more so you can get the third box out. Then what you want to do is you just kind of want to throw it off to the side. <laughs> <laughs> Only 90 calories is a great snack for the winter when you're all bundled up in your blankets and freezing your tushi off. <laughs> I said, now you want to open the box like so and just fold over the flap. That way you can see all of your resins. Would either of you like to say any comments before we taste out our resins? You know what I respect about resins is about how original they are. I looked at the agreed ingredients as I was opening my nicely packaged resins. And I looked at the ingredients and all it says is resins. Would you look at that? Scrum diddly <laughs> All right. So. Oh. Mmm. 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 My hamburger. I'm gonna chug this. Hamburger. Bison. Mmm. <laughs> bison I'm burger. Gonna, I'm gonna dab, dab, dab this. Dab, Yummy. Dab. Mm. What amazes me about these ricins <laughs> is that they are dried. They are a dried fruit. However, them being dried, fresh from the Sahara Desert, you can really taste the wet California still preserved inside of the actual food itself. So, would you like to go get our next snack? Yes. Cut. Pasture Christ. These are a great food. Now, they're great year-round, I will admit, but they're really good in the fall. <laughs> <laughs> now, looking at the packaging, you can see this is most definitely a fall snack <laughs> with the strawberries, very like 
cold oh. weather. Yeah. Now, when you think about picking strawberries and eating strawberries, what do you think about? Yes, exactly. You think about football. You think about Thanksgiving. You think about turkeys and cold weather, but not snowing yet because it's not that time of the year yet. But what I really like about Pastry Crisps <laughs> is the simple yet amazing packaging. So for my Pastry Crisps, I'm going to get my Pastry Crisp. Pass it on to Andrew. I'm going to get my Pastry Crisp. <laughs> What I like about these is that. <laughs> Sorry, I think I had something in my throat. <laughs> um, it says on the packaging it's from Millville, and I'm from Millville. <laughs> wow, that's a really good connection. <laughs> now, what you want to do with it when you're done getting your actual pastry crisps is you're just gonna want to smack it away. <laughs> and while you you're opening that... your package, you gotta read the ingredients like so. Remember from my last clip. We learned that life hack. 100 calories. 100 calories. So Pretty still thick. very low in calories. It has some sodium. Which means that you could be on a diet, but hopefully you like mm, pastry Salty. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Guys, I haven't eaten them yet. Calm down. Well, it kind of tastes like chicken. Mmm. Mmm. I might be able to get some milk from this. I like the icing on here. It's pretty delicious. Whoa. Wow. These are really good and fall like. On the next one. So here we have our beautiful gates! And um, what we want to do is we want to read the directions first. <laughs> <laughs> Eight. Jersey cakes! Individually wrapped. What you want to do is you want to read the directions while you're reading the ingredients, and we see that there's 160 calories and approximately greater than or equal to negative 16 <laughs> opposite or cervical <laughs> grams of sugar. And here you go, Chef Co. Jake, have a Jersey cake! And here you go, have a Jersey cake! <laughs> and I'll give myself a Jersey cake! <laughs> now, what you want to do, you want to open the packaging of the Jersey cake! <laughs> And like so, you want to take a nice big hamburger bite out of it. <laughs> I can't get it. Oh. Hamburger. Mmm. Mm. Hamburger. Pig. Hey, what do these really remind you of? Like, boom. Hold on, let me try it. Let me These strassel packs really remind me of bison burgers. It kind of reminds me when I was shoveling snow one time and I slept and fell. And then I, it really, like, it made me like really want to do this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, these are very good for the winter time, as you, as you heard him saying, because they make you want to shovel snow. And when you shovel snow, that makes you want to have some streusel cakes. Because they, it, it just gives you that vibe. Whenever you see this, the cinnamon does kind of remind you of shoveling snow and mowing snow lawns. And that is what winter is all about. Is mowing. Oh, my foot kind of hurts. <laughs> <laughs> see it one more time, Aiden. Let's do some things. What did you say about... Show us some No slit. Where did Andrew go? Where did Andrew go? Oh. Here I am. Yay! No! Yay! Yay! What? Dude! Okay, so here we have some fudge brownies. And what we're going to do is we're going to start talking about some fudge brownies. All right. Here we have our fudge brownies. Now, imagine you're. it's November 23rd. It's about Thanksgiving time. And you finish your Thanksgiving meal. A scrumptious Thanksgiving meal. Now, what do you do after that? You have dessert. So here, we have our chocolate fudge brownies. Look at that chocolatey goodness. <laughs> it really reminds me after Christmas dinner, 
one time I was at my grandma's house. Well, she's dead now. And so, we had brownies. After, of course, because it's a dessert. And so, <laughs> why not have dessert <laughs> daily? And why not have your, why not have oh. dessert every single day? And why not have dessert as a snack? Right? Uh, so that is what Specially Selected did. They made chocolate brownies um, uh, conveniently packaged for our use and convenience and um, edibleness. So, how about everybody takes a brownie? Wait, we need to wet our whistles first. <laughs> mm. All right, have a brownie, please. On me, Chocolatey. Guys. On three, on three. These are some One, thick brownies. Two, three. Ew. <laughs> what? This is disgusting. I just want to have a. I just want to mow some bushes. In anger. Martha, what did I tell you about talking out loud? <laughs> Marcy, don't you dare think out of turn. Hey, shut up, Magic Mike. Hey! Mr. Magic Mike. Mm. Yeah. No, no. You're right. That's a that's a that's a G gradient for me. Now, <laughs> this really reminds me of summer, not fall or winter. This really makes me want to go mow some lawns. This really makes me want to go cut some bushes. It really reminds me of sand volleyball. Dude, that kind of reminds me of the alphabet. It's like, so like you're you're thinking of foods to eat, and you're thinking of all the letters it could be, and then that one's just big, like F. Like it's it's just kind of irrelevant. Like it shouldn't be in the alphabet. <laughs> It's kind of, it reminds me of summer, you know, being on the top when CP3 goes up for the lob. It kind of reminds me of that. Summer. On to the next one. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what was that? That was a little bit insane. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 hey. 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 So here, coming in at number one. What? Oh! Is our chocolate thip muffins? So what I like about those, the those chocolate thips are kind of thick. They was, what I like about the chocolate thip muffins is that they have very thick layerings inside of them. So you have your like your you have your little uh, juicy um chocolate thip <laughs> at the top, and then you you make your way down. You you get all the you get like more dense like and metallic more and, like metallica <laughs> like, uh, the, like the inner core of the earth it's like the inner core there's there's the, the um, inner core the outer core the mantle, the, the and, mantle the and, the, and the crust like that kind of reminds me of the mantle so the chocolate sip muffins because you put muffins on mantle if you're turning in this, your house if you're turning this into an analogy <laughs> the chocolate sip muffins <laughs> are kind of like the crust <laughs> so then what you want to do is you want to take your pinky finger they want to run in along the sticker, and sometimes the sticker may be a little thick, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta nudge, you gotta nudge it. I mean, your finger looks a little oh. thick to do that. Oh yeah, my my thumb, my thinky finger are kind of thick. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see these. No, 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 I'm opening He's it. He's got it. So you want to yeah. take a muffin? Everybody, grab a thuffin. What you want to do is you kind of just want to like Gosh. rest it on top of your head first. There's you know one thing I'd like to add before I do rest it on the top of my head. <laughs> the 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 top layer is is a little very overwhelmingly it's overwhelming. Thin. It's kinda, I like you know what these kind of look like. Kind of remind me of cir circumstantial. <laughs> it's not really circum. <laughs> it's not really circum <laughs> circum at the bottom. <laughs> but you know what these kind of remind me of. <laughs> Mushrooms. A toad from Mario Kart. <laughs> no exactly. Copy, no copyright intended. Who thought of that? Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. No. Oh. Those are good. These really remind me of one time during the winter. Coming in at our number one spot, here are our muffins. <laughs> so, wait. You kind of remind me of like when you're sledding. And like you fall off in the snow, just on your pants, and, and then it looks like you have like cinnamon powder on your pants. So, um, what I like to think about with uh, winter snacks, such as this muffin here, is that it's snowing. It is snowing. And you are out, you know, just doing your own thing, you know, sledding, snow shoveling, whatever you prefer. And then you get 
like these this really icy snow like inside you know it can be in your pants and your underwear and your socks and your helmet um it can get inside so that's all for today folks thank you for tuning into two three guys one <laughs> kitchen whoa um here's our top six list of our favorite winter and or fall foods and uh, if you liked it, like, comment, and subscribe. And share with your friends. Share with your friends and hit that notification button so you can be the first one to be updated for our new videos. Thank you for tuning in and make it a great day. Or not. The choice, choice is, is yours. yours.